All right, this video is going to be the startup procedure for the Allen Bradley Micrologix 1000. We're using the Allen Bradley Rockwell software. And the first step is we have to go to, in all programs, Rockwell software. And we're looking for RS Links. RS Links is like the operator. This is what controls the communication between your PC and your PLC. Now I have RS Links running in the background. That's what these two icons stand for. And if I click on the communications icon, this window will show up. Now I'm going to click the extension cord here, and that's the same thing as going communication, configure drivers. I'm just an icon person, so I like to click configure drivers. We're using the RS-232 cable to communicate, so this is the DF-1 device, RS-232 DF-1. And then we're going to click Configure. You should be able to leave all of this standard. There's none of this that needs to be changed. We're going to click Auto Configure, and a test will take place. And if communications are successful, you'll get the message, Auto Configuration Successful. You can close this window, but you should minimize RS links and let that run in the background. If you ever need to change any configurations or test again, it's there available for you. Now we need to go back to Rockwell Software and fire up RS Logics 500 English. Notice it says Micrologix 1000. If we were using a different processor, we might have a different number. And I'll show you here at the beginning of the program that when you click File, New, or just click the New folder, we have to identify what processor we're using. We're using the Micrologix 1000. This is the only one available at this time because that's the only processor I've had hooked up to this software. Now we're running the RS Logix 500 uh, software and I'm going to close these folders just so we can focus on a couple of different folders. Now if I had a PLC with a rack system my next step would be to go to IO configuration and I'd have to survey the PLC by clicking read IO config to identify what cards are where on the bus. In this case, this is a fixed I.O. This Mi Micrologix 1000 has a fixed number of I.O. that can't be changed, so there's no need to survey this PLC. If we were working with an SLC 500 with a rack system, we would want to read I.O. config and figure out uh, what cards are where on the rack. Once you've configured uh, I.O.s, if need be, for right now, I'm going to close this folder. And the two things we want to look at today are some of the data files along with the program files. 